you were free to go just about anywhere along Sweden's shores and in its lakes and watercourses. You were all guests in nature and must have been considerate and responsible towards your surroundings. Do not disturb, do not destroy. That was the basic principle of Sweden's right of public access. Visitors to Sweden interested in butterflies could find many species that were once much more common in the United Kingdom. Suitable habitat for fritillary butterflies along river valleys remain connected. Seasonal flight times were compressed so that the small pearl bordered fritillary could be seen as well as the larger silver wash fritillary within the space of 10 days. Sweden had many more native resident species of butterfly than the United Kingdom. In the past Sweden may have received many United Kingdom resident species of butterfly on prevailing winds. Although fritillary butterflies were not generally considered to be migrants, historically because of the jet stream individuals might have found their way from the UK to Sweden, creating new populations or adding to the existing gene pool. My visit to Sweden in 2017 showed me the importance of native wildflowers such as field scabious as a nectar source. It had become cloudy on the 30th of July and the silver wash fritillary was about to roost. A fritillary habitat contains the plants the butterflies depend on. This type of connected habitat that suited the fritillary butterflies in Sweden could have been what the UK was like over a hundred years ago before the start of the First World War.